there. Well, we want to welcome you to another Ask Posh. You'll never guess who I am today. Peter Pan? Anyway, we want to welcome you to our Halloween edition. And we're going to show you today some really interesting treats and how to dress your table properly because here at Posh, we're all about dressing right. So I'd like to introduce you to my companion and cohort in crime, the fabulous Captain Hook. Hey, matey. Of course, this is David Everett from JDK Catering in Harrisburg. Thank you so much for coming today, David. We're so glad to have you here, and thanks for coming as Captain Hook. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, so you got some exciting things here to show us, and I see you brought us some real treats. Can you tell us what we're doing? Yes, we brought some really cool ideas that are very simply created. Okay. Um, these are items that you can find on Pinterest, and you can create them for your kids. Mm -hmm. So they're all edible treats. Uh, first, I'm gonna show you how to make these amazingly cute little spider scary. cookies. They scary. I think they're the little Lost Boys boo. would really like those. They'd be those. scared of oh it. Oh my gosh. So yes. you take a little sugar cookie, oh. and you take a little Reese's cup. Now don't eat too many, mm -hmm. okay? The Lost Boys wanna eat them. I know. I know you've been flying around. I know, we need so some So you just sugar. take a little bit of icing around the, okay. the bottom okay. of the Reese's cup. That Stick attaches it, it to the cookie. Push oh. down real good. You're gonna create your little legs oh. with the little icing. Maybe the wow. Lost Boys can do a little fun project this Halloween. I think that sounds exciting. And oh, then we can you eat the do extra icing. the other icing side. One, two, three. Three. Four. Oh, four. you know this will be actually a lesson that Wendy can teach them how many teach legs them. a spider has. And teach them how to count. That's right. There we go. So we've okay. got our legs. Okay. And you take the red oh. icing. Oh, they have red the eyes. Little red eyes. Ooh. And then at the grocery store, you get little sugar eyes. Oh, I like it. Mm. You put the little That's sugar eyes on. Well, you could do like cyclopses. Yes, you could do a spider with many eyes. Oh, I like it. Okay. And boom, boom. you've got a little spider cookie. I love it. You want to eat it? it? Mm. We'll save for later. I don't know. I think those little brooms look. The pretty little good brooms. Too. Yeah. Well, speaking of the brooms. Oh, Wendy. So, Wendy. Wendy. Do we, we have Wendy? It's Wendy. Wendy. <gasps> well, Wendy, well, hi there, Wendy. Is for you to join us. Would you like to take our spider webs and take whoops, our spiders and take them over to Lost Boys? Sure. They can Thank enjoy you very them. much. Yes. Don't have them eat all of them though, because we need them for the display later. Okay. So Sorry, with, I, won't, I mean, they won't. <laughs> <laughs> with the little brooms. Oh. Um, okay. The biggest key with this is you have to prep. Ooh. Your Reese cup. Oh. So take a pick, and you've got to pre-make a little hole in there. Oh. Because the chocolate there is extremely hard. hard. Okay. So you got to build a little section there for the okay. little broomstick. And brooms if you stick. break one of these, then you get to eat it. Exactly. <laughs> oh, like here. Oh. Oh. No. Well, you know, know it's really rough doing these food things. We got all this extra fun stuff. Ooh, so up. it goes in there. Yum. Take a little bit of red icing. Okay. Pop it around the rim, the okay. bottom of the broom. This one's a little bit more challenging. Yes. yes. This one is a little bit more challenging. So maybe some chocolate, extra chocolate there yes. will help. Mm. So oh, this that is, is how so they finish cute. when they're all Oh, hot. I love it. So I then last it. but not least, okay. we've got the little pumpkin patch um, pudding cups. Ooh. So all you have to do is get little pudding cups or make homemade pudding. Completely up to you. Okay. And you're just going to layer it. So first you put down some of the chocolate. Okay. Put down I some like more chocolate. chocolate. Chocolate's like my favorite food group. Exactly. Oh my god. And then god. Oreo cookies. Ooh. And Oreo so cookies too. You have to crunch them though. So you put a bunch of Oreo cookies in a bag. Do you and take a rolling pin? First? Yes, you can oh, if you want yeah! to. Oh, that's I don't know my if you oh, <laughs> oh, no, people want to eat them after that, but it's okay. But, but you we just, won't we won't tell anybody, okay. exactly. So then you take a little bit of Oreo. Okay. Layer that in there, get a layer okay. there. Mm. And then finish it. Oh. You gotta make sure it tastes good as you make them. She's eating my eyeball. <laughs> How's my eyeball taste? Very good. And then again. Oh, so it's like a parfait. Layer, yep, like a little parfait. Do some more Oreo cookies there. And it won't melt. And then green coconut. Do you know how to get coconut to turn green? 
leave it in the refrigerator too long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can do that. Or you take the obviously coconut is white. Okay. Um, you drop in a couple little colored dice, okay. uh, food coloring, and then just shake it in the little container. Ah. So you've got your green grass, and then okay. buy some little cookie or little pumpkins for the top. Oh, how fun! And finish off your little pumpkin. Well, that is just hatch. so much fun. How fun is that? I love it. Well, this is an fabulous way to be able to present sugar. Yes. I love and it. And the kids will be on a big sugar high. That's which, right. Who isn't at Halloween? Well, you know, we all are. So this is why I happen to bring something along too, because we have to have our meat. Uh, we need a meat source. Well, I hear the Lost so, Boys like meat. Lies, lost Boys love meat. So yes, they do. I was at the Giant today, and the Giant had on sale. Wait till you see this, folks. We have crescent rolls. My favorite. I know. I mean, we can do a lot with this. Mama Hook used to make those all the time you. when I was a little boy. Now, we can do sausages for a little bit more of a smoky feeling. We like a smoky feeling. Yeah, I know, I know. And then, but I thought we'd just do little wieners today. <laughs> so, yeah, what can I say? No comment. Okay, so, here we go. So, we have some all. <laughs> Peter Pan, you get a little choked up there. Ah, this is like, and you unroll your crescent rolls, and the film crew is having a ball. They are. Like, if I you know, can see them so laughing back there. So, anyhow, they're on sale, two for five dollars, and this is also on sale. So, what you want to do is you want to roll out your crescent roll, and then we're going to cut this in little strips, just like this, because this is my famous. Mummy dogs. Mummy dogs. As you know, Lost Boys, we didn't have mummies. So this is part of the thing that we saw. <laughs> She's doing a very good job cutting her dough. Yes. She's cutting it in a very straight line. Yes. It's perfect. It's wonderful. You can so, tell she's a seamstress. Well, you know, we have to do this without a grid. So, um, anyway. And she doesn't need a grid. There we go. Okay, so there we go. So what you do is you take your little hot dog. And we can do this together. Oh. Okay. I get so a little wiener. You get a little wiener too. And you take a strip. Now, what you want to do. I hope you all are sending us little ha-has. <laughs> Mike Miller said, oh, this is amazing. <laughs> Hi, Mike. Hi, Mike. Like Are you enjoying this? <laughs> okay, so you wrap your little mummy here, like just like this, and you have to leave a little part for his face, okay? Because all you're going to see is the eyes after we get done. Roll. And you bring it around like this, and you pinch it a little bit at the bottom so that it makes a little covering, and you make like a little cap on the top, and then you have the little, like that. That's what's My dough's getting stuck to my You're finger. not very good at this. <laughs> I'm not going to make a cut. So, you have to, you got you to learn how to do this. No, yes. that's, that's good. Okay. So, oh, this uh, is yeah, this is, look at this. This I is mean, great. The boys worked on this all morning. Look, here are some pre-done ones. Oh. And then you lay them up here. That's not, I don't know if you want mine up there. Well, you know, they'll eat anything. The bottom matter. of my mind me is naked. Well, it's butt naked. <laughs> it's butt naked. <laughs> <laughs> so, through the magic of Never Never Land, Somewhere Wendy disappeared just now and she went off to the kitchen to come back and she's going to take this away and bring back our ones that have already been cooked. Watch Ooh, how fast they cook. 15 cook minutes, ding, up, dong, ding dong, ding dong, dong. Where's the alligator? Cookie, tick, cookie, click, cookie, tick, 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 tick. Oh, the there we go. Oh my, my gosh, gosh, look they at cook that. Faster. Look how cute they are. Neverland. Are they cute? I know Neverland, we're always so fast at things. Magical. We boys, well, they just won't wait. And so now the finishing touch is another thing that was on sale was great. Poop pawn. And Great the boys love to say that. Great poop pawn. Poop pawn. <laughs> That's right, it's a poop pawn. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get the lid open. Maybe you can. Maybe I can. Oops, my hands are too. <laughs> oh. Whoop. There we go. Yay! There we go. I knew you were good for something. Uh huh. Okay, so. Got a good grip on my okay, hand. Okay, this is good. 
I thought you had a hook. <laughs> oh, a hook. Okay, we left a that. A hook can do anything. That's right. Kevin so, Bronson now, says, now, I'm done. Now, <laughs> what we have to do is just paint little eyes on these little mummies, just like this. Now, if you're real fancy, like Jasmine would be, you could get, like, the pastry, you know, tube and do this. But there we go. It's mommy just eyes. the mommy eyes just on there. Isn't that just too much? It is. Look too how much. cute those little Isn't eyes that are. Cute? So I'm gonna make a cyclops there. There we go. <laughs> okay. So there we are. We have. We our, have edibles. We have our first part and our second. Second part. part. Okay. Yes. I like to eat dessert before food, though. Well, you know, it just all depends on the time of day, and I can mix it up too. Yep. Captain Hook's gained a little weight, so. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Well, Wendy, would you like to come on over and help us move this yeah. card away? Here we go. Excuse me while Woo. I fly off. Bye. All right. So um, here I am. We're going to move in a new set piece. Okay. And with that, we're going to show you actually how to set up a perfect table for Halloween. And Captain Hook and JDK is so fabulous at doing this. And this is part of the reason why I brought him along today because What's so special about JDK is one, one, they're catering, but two, the way that they produce events. And what I think is special too about what David does is he's so artistic in the way that he's able to think outside the box. And that's part of the reason why we're dressed today because he even sends his staff dressed to whatever the occasion is. So if they're doing Roaring Twenties or if they do Pirates, they come dressed too. So it's just not all blacks. Yes. So it's part of the reason why we love what JDK is. Well, thank you. So, so you... people eat with their eyes. That's right. So you want to make sure that the table is as beautiful and taste is, looks as beautiful as the, the food is going to taste. Okay. Captain Hook can't talk right now. That's okay. So with <laughs> Halloween, exactly, we get through it. That may be right, I can't talk. <laughs> So with the Halloween, you know, station design, you really, it's all about layering. And anybody can make this happen at your home this weekend, whenever you guys are having trick or treat, or really just having some friends over um, to your house this weekend. So you can get this fabric at any fabric store. Um, it can be in their sale bin, so you don't have to buy the real expensive stuff. Obviously this was real expensive, so we've got just a little bit of it. So. We layered it with the red, and then we put on this beautiful... Captain Hook's blood red. Captain Hook's blood red. I think I've killed a few things in my lifetime. Oh. And then we just layer it. So then you've got maybe some lace here that's been ripped up a little bit, so it just nice. looks all spooky and scary. Spooky and scary. That's right. And then we layer it again with oh. something that's got a little bit more texture. Get a little this is bit very more texture. Much like the petals that you know like um, Tagger Lily plays with. Out yes. Yeah. And in and, and, and your little lands. Yes. And then your risers. Mm -hmm. If you do not have a collection of risers, it's perfectly fine. You can use old boxes, you can use crates, and you can put, put things underneath, there, underneath here it. to where you hide it. Just don't show those canisters that you've collected in your basement. You want to cover them up with fabric, unless they look right, all right? But this one, we've got one that we can pop out and everybody can see it. Okay. <gasps> Collection of old books um, can be used. Can the Lost Boys read? You, well, Wendy reads to us every Wendy, night. Oh, it's Wendy, so fabulous. We just love you, Wendy. I know, we love Wendy. So creating some different heights, <gasps> little metal That's my top hat. hats. I wonder where my hat was. Well, I'm sorry, I took it. I needed it for a design. And then using some pewter candlesticks. You know, I think they found these in a treasure chest oh, I once those had. Are nice. And just really layering the design. Okay. Um, at any box store, you can get some Halloween decor if you want to, um, or you can just drink it. Anything left in that? <laughs> well, we'll find out okay. later. Okay. <laughs> yep, there's some, there's something in there. Ooh, it's for me okay. and you. Okay. Um, you can use just old uh, wine bottles and spray paint them, but just pop them right on your table. All right. Okay. And then every table needs a centerpiece. All right. Okay. So this here is a very simple little wood box. Okay. Inside here is what is called oasis. Okay. Oasis. It holds water. Um, and you just put this in here because it's a, it holds everything into place. Okay. So we're going to layer again. This is called sheet moss. Or wait, this is sheet moss. The green stuff is sheet moss that we find out in the forest. Okay. 
you know, when we're hunting for those treasures and stuff. And this is Spanish moss. So we create the difference, exactly. Create a little base like this. Take some dark willow. Pop in some little touches here. Just to really give a little texture, all right? But then the big wow factor Ooh. here is Tinkerbell. Is Tinkerbell. <gasps> is my hook. Arr, here's wow. my hook. So a manzanita branch. You can use branches from your yard. You do okay. not have to have manzanita branches because they can be expensive. So just pop those in. If you've got some different ones here. Pop that down in there. Captain Hook's feeling strong today. Oh, yeah. And then we've got the last manzanita branch, which every table you always want to make sure you have a lot of height. If you're in a room, the height of someone's head is usually the height that you want to go as a centerpiece. Because in a busy room, people can't find the food. But if they see a floral, so they may table. say, oh, that oh. may be where the food is. Ooh, okay? it's like an antenna. Exactly. Yeah. But what we're going to do is we're going to turn this tree and just spectacular oh, surprise. Spectacular, I love it. So we're gonna take some little okay. styrofoam. Styrofoam, okay. I have a little hot pot over here that is filled with uh, glue chips that you can just get at a box store, okay? okay? Melt them down. You dip that into, melt that, you get the glue onto your sides, oh. all right? You go on this side, and you just start spreading it. Oops, it's going everywhere. Richard, I'm not getting it on the floor. <laughs> I'm getting it on my fabric. Oh, look at this. So it just turns That's into cool. a big old cobweb. Wow. Can you all see that out Can there? Can you see that in Can you see this? Facebook land? Can you see this happening? It's just a really cool... Wow. Big old spider web concept. You're like a magician, Captain Voila. Hook. Voila. Captain this. Hook has created. Wow, that's better than what Tinkerbell did for me this morning when she well, created breakfast. And Tinkerbell can sit up in here in her little spider webs. Oh, I love it. This is so cool. Yeah. Well, very nice. So then you just take your food and make it look beautiful on top of the tabletop. Well, maybe we can send over some things. Yes. Can we send over some food? Wendy, do we have any food left, or did you eat it all? We have food. Oh, thank you, Wendy. Oh, that was so kind of you to be able to guard it from what the lost boys were after, because they're all so very hungry, and I know they're watching this episode. Hi, boys out Hi, there. Hi, lost boys. Mike Miller. <laughs> Hi, Richard. There's Hello to all of our brides. Your little cookies. Oh, look how cute is that. Oh, and here we go. And your we final, have you have your wieners. You know, Tiger Lily and the crew love coming for this because they think they're papooses, but we don't want to tell them. <laughs> exactly. I know, they're so cute. So anyway, so there we are, everybody. Well, this has been fabulous. David, we've loved having you come. Well, thank thank you. you so very much. We want to wish all of you a very happy and haunting Halloween. I hope that you had as, have as much fun as we had here today in getting your event together. And I hope that you've shared some love with us. Have you sent us some love? Oh, good. I want to see those hearts floating we in those. We like your love -ins. So anyway, tune in for next week. And we'll be surprising you again. So bye bye for now. Happy Halloween! Off to Never Neverland. Bye. Here we go. Woo.